Greetings to everyone who's watching me right about now. I have a word just for you. This word is for you, my brothers and sisters. Remember that every single day I release these amazing words. Words to bless you, words to jumpstart your day, words to encourage you, to let you know that God is always with you. And remember that Jesus is always on the throne. No matter what you are going through, no matter what circumstances has come up against you, just have it in mind that God will never leave you nor forsake you. My dear brothers and sisters, today's powerful word is walk in love towards others. That is it. Walk in love towards others. Continue doing the good work. And also, be a man and woman of God that is always doing charitable deeds. No matter what situation you are in, no matter how tough the going gets to be, continue doing the work. Remember, you are storing up your treasures in heaven where there are no thieves, where there are no moths, where there is even no rust. So my brothers and sisters, you are doing yourself a good thing. So keep being good. Even when people are not good to you, just keep being good. Just reminded of a story about Jesus when they kept beating him. But he kept saying, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. They mocked him. They did all sorts of funny things to him, but he forgave them. Have it in mind to forgive one another. Forgiveness is a very powerful aspect of our lives. Because how can God forgive you if you do not forgive others? You first forgive others before you ask for forgiveness. My brothers and sisters, today's word is from the book of Acts chapter 9, verse 36 to 41. Acts chapter 9, verse 36 to 41. And it reads, At Joppa, there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. And since Lida was near Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room, and all the widows stood by him, weeping, showing the tunics and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. But Peter put them all out, and knelt down and prayed, and turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. What a powerful, amazing word. That the scripture says saying that at Joppa, there was a certain disciple. At Joppa, there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is usually translated as Dorcas. The scripture says that this woman was full of good works and charitable deeds. She was not half good works and charitable deeds. She was not a quarter of the good works and charitable deeds, but she was full. That means she was complete. If you were to look for a woman that was full, that, that had good works and charitable deeds, this woman qualified. She had passed the test. That even the scripture makes mention of it. The scripture makes mention of it. This woman had no room for hatred. She was full of good works. She loved people. 
Now the scripture says, but it happened in those days that she became sick and died. Despite the fact that this woman was doing the will of God. Despite the fact that this woman was a good woman. She became sick and died. She went into a problem. And it led to death. Some of you, despite the fact that you are doing good, things are going the other way. Things are going down. Your businesses are going down. Your relationships are going down. But I want to encourage you to never give up. Because that seed which you sow will one time grow up into a, a tree. And you will see the fruits of it. Now the scripture says that when they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. And since Lida was near Joppa and the disciples had that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Notice that this woman who died, who was full of good works, she was a woman of God, a powerful woman of God. To the extent that people even went an extra time, an extra mile, to call for another man of God to come and see the woman, to come and make the woman well, to come and make the woman um, rise up from the dead. People were not ready to lose her because people needed her. Now the scripture says that um, then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room and the widows stood by him weeping, showing tunics and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. These women had evidence. In other words, they had a testimony. They started showing the tunics, the garments that this woman Dorcas had made for them, meaning that this Dorcas who had died was relevant to them. My brothers and sisters, if you read towards the end of the story, you would realize that the, that the woman was brought back to life. Because she was needed. Be relevant to the kingdom of God. Be relevant. Because once you show your relevance to the people and the kingdom of God, God will not allow you to suffer. God will not allow you to be put to shame. God will show you a sign of his goodness and your enemies instead will be put to shame. That's what the scripture says. The scripture says, show me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see and be put to shame. My brothers and sisters, it is the end of the world. Until next time, God bless you.